Hi guys and welcome to the Destruction 7.35 guide for how to AoE and single target rotation and how to maximize your DPS. So first I'll be going through the single target uh, legendaries and rotation and talents. So yeah, I'll go through that now. The best legendaries you want for Destruction are the shoulders and the chest. The main thing you want though is the shoulders. The other one doesn't matter too much but you really need the shoulders. The reason you want this is while well, you have a dimensional rift, rift open, all your damage is increased by 10%. And rifts are up so much. So if you're using one, um, if you're using one rift every time it's up. So for example, if you watch now, one rift's up. If I used another one, if I wanted to use all my rifts at one time, that would be 30% increased damage. So I mean, if I'm lining that up with chaos bolts, I'm going to be dealing a lot, a lot of damage in a, in one go, which is good. Because on lock, sometimes you have a bit of downtime, especially as um, Destro. So you just want to get ready for that and make sure you still have everything up for when the, this comes. So the first talent you want to take is Backdraft. Backdraft is just way better than any, any of the alternatives. But the one thing you want to make sure with um, Backdraft is when you use Conflagate, which is your two trigger spell, you're going to get Backdraft. You want to make sure that you're either spending these on Chaos Bolts or Incinerates before you start using another one. So for example, now you see, I just want to make sure I'm getting the full use out of both stacks and I'm not losing it. So as you can see, I'm using it again now. Use it on my incinerates. Use another chaos bolt. Use another conflagrate. Both incinerates. So you just want to make sure you get the full use out of the stacks you get from backdraft. But yeah, the next what you want to take is eradication. It's really you know not 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 too hard to see why. It's just way better than the alternatives. And usually when you use a chaos bolt, you're more than likely to use another one afterwards. And having that chaos bolt be increased by 15%, it's going to do really really big damage for you. See, so yeah, that's why eradication is better. If you have the talent ring, you can you want to take reverse entropy instead, but eradication if you don't have the talent ring. Next one's down to you again, but most people take the demonic circle due to the fact that it's really really good in most most um, situations. As you can see, I'm just making the full use out of my backdraft. They stack, but you just want to make sure you're using the full you know the full two. So yeah, next one, what you want to take is Soul Harvest. Do you want to take this because it's just better than all the other alternatives? You can use this at the start of a fight when you've still got all your rifts up. And if you have the shoulders, you can use all your rifts. And Soul Harvest, you're going to be doing them really, really big damage. So yeah, you just want to make sure the target is has Immolate. And you see how Soul Harvest will increase your DPS. Next one's down to you again. Um, some people use Burning Rush, some people don't. I like Burning Rush just because, you know, it's a bit of, bit of extra... Um, it's an extra bit of speed, which yeah, you want. Next, what you want to take is Grimoire of Service. You want to do this because it just it's just better for you in terms of single target wise. If you get your every time Grimoire Imp is back up, you want to use it because the Imp, your your Grimoire of Service um, makes the pet deal 100% increased damage. And as soon as you call that Imp back up, it's going to deal 100% increased two fires to uh, cast. So it's going to do really really big damage, and it's going to do more than the alternatives, which you uh, which are on show. And uh, next, what you want to take is Channel Doomfire. You want to take this because you've got a lot of downtime as um, a Warlock, a Destro at least. And in that downtime, you want to be using Channel Doomfire. So you can just fill that void with damage and, you know, your DPS stays up. So you see now I've got a bit of downtime to get my Rifts back up. So yeah, say if I had the Legendary, I'd be using my Rifts, so I'll have increased damage now. Use my Chaos Bolt. Because I've got the increased damage, of, uh, damage after a Chaos Bolt, you see there I do really big damage. Using Imp now, and they're going to hit... He's going to hit two spells, so we can deal really, really big damage. But yeah, you just want to make sure you're filling the void and making sure that you're using a Doom Guard if for um, single target and the Infernal for AoE. As you can see, you just want to tie in your cooldowns with your Chaos Bolts and make sure you're using Havoc so that your Chaos Bolt hits twice on the target. But just watch out in um, many, like in some situations, if you're about to take damage, don't use a um, Life Tap so that. You know, you aren't life tapping really, really low and then taking extra damage and dying. But yeah, you just want to make sure you're trying to tie in as many Chaos Bolts in that Soul Harvest as possible. It's why the chest is a really good legendary because there's a chance you get Soul Harvest every 6% um, of a Soul Shard. So, you know, that's really, really good because when you're using a Chaos Bolt, which costs 2 Soul Shards, you got a 12% chance, which is a pretty high chance. So yeah, that's why you want to take the chest legendary. And the shoulders so that every time you use a Rift, your damage is increased by 10%. Um, yeah. Now for AoE. So for AoE, you want to be taking Backdraft again. 
and instead of that instead of eradication you want to be using empowered life tap you want to be doing this due to the fact that you're going to have pretty low mana all the time but you're never ever going to be using your soul shards on chaos bolt so you always want to you always want to use empowered life tap so that you can just life tap you get loads of mana back and your damage is increased empowered life tap damage increased so you just want to make sure you've got that buff up all the time not just spam life tap just make sure that buffs up all the time next one's down to you again you know demonic circle or whatever you prefer I take Demonic Circle just for that for that OP teleport. But next one to take Fire and Brimstone. Incinerate now hits all, all enemies near your target. It's quite self-explanatory. You know, it's really, really good. So you just want to change to that. So I'll quickly change Fire and Brimstone. That's so hard if it's on cooldown, obviously. Next for what you want to take is Grimmer of Sacrifice. Due to the fact that sacrifice your enemy, your demon to gain demonic power, causing your spells to sometimes also deal 48k shadow damage. Especially when a target's inside your reign of um, fire. This is going to be proccing so, so much. And you're going to get loads of use out of it. And especially when you use an incinerate with, um, with fire and brimstone. It's going to be really, really good for you. Next, what you want to take. If it's two targets, you want to take wreak havoc. So that you can start using chaos bolts a lot more and hit both targets with it. But if it's three or more, you want to be using soul conduit. So that um, when you're using a reign of fire, there's a chance you get another rain of fire for free and that's just really really good because the more rain of fires you can get down the more dps you're obviously going to do so yeah i'll quickly change to fire and brimstone now so you can quickly see and i'll go to the aoe ads let's quickly go over here so i'll quickly sacrifice a pet just go grimmer of sacrifice so i got the buff as you can see so i'm going to start off with the good old life tap obviously if you had the shoulders you'd use that now and have increased damage so now i'm just going to try and incinerate all the targets and then put down a uh, rain of fire and i'm going to use confligate so i have backdraft and i can start using incinerates because obviously incinerate hits all the targets so you want to be using your backdrafts and use it only on incinerates now rain of fire is back up empowered life taps down i'm going to reapply it make sure all the targets are getting hit by incinerate obviously if they were closer they'd all be getting hit but you know they're a bit spread rain of fire down again and you see i got refunded a soul shard so that can be used later on just incinerate all the targets, spam, um, now use Rain of Fire, that's going to hit all the targets, going to hit all the targets again, make sure Immolate's reapplied to all of them, I've got Backdraft, so I'm going to use it on Incinerate, so I can build up my Soul Shards, and now I'm just going to use my Rain of Fire, going to use the Portal now as well, if I had the shoulders, that would increase my DPS, going to use Life Tap again, get my mana back, and, um, and obviously increase my damage with the Empowered Life Tap. So you just want to dot everything up, not ever using your soul shards on chaos bolts. If you're using it on chaos bolts, it's just a waste of DPS. You only want to be using chaos bolts if it's two targets. So you can put havoc on them and the the um the chaos bolt hits them. But as you can see, in Destro is really, really good for um, AoE, especially if you have um, the shoulders where you can put down a rift and life tap, and you're just gonna be hitting really, really hard with your um Rain of Fires and your Grimmer of Sacrifice. But yeah, that's it for Destro. It's pretty simple AoE, especially when you take Fire and Rimstone. It's kind of the same, um, like your rotation-wise. It's just when you've got an AoE, you want to be using Rain of Fire all the time, never using it on Chaos Bolts. And you want to try and tie in all your CDs together. That's just the main thing for um, for Destro Locks. But yeah, like and subscribe if you like the video. And if you want to see more videos in the future, then just comment. And if I missed anything out, then just comment. I'll reply to everyone. So yeah, see you in the next one.